So a couple of months ago, I had a series of unfortunate events occurring with my hair. It was time for me to bleach my hair. My hair was a bit longer than it normally is. It, it was even longer than this. I wanted to try to bleach my hair differently than I normally do. So instead of one bleaching with 30 volume developer, I wanted to bleach it twice with 20 volume developer and separate those two bleachings by a week, which turned out to be a fiasco because I did not take into account that my hair can be very resistant. I also did not realize that there's just patches of my hair that has a higher resistance. So the first bleaching, follow the directions as I usually do, Ble rinse the bleach out, shampooed my hair, blah, blah, blah. And I was looking in the mirror and as I kind of turned my head, I kind of noticed some what looked like a huge patch of dark hair, but I couldn't see. So I, I couldn't tell and Derek wasn't around at the time. So I come back in the room and I take a picture of the back of my hair with this camera and find to my horror, there's this huge patch of dark brown hair. And it wasn't, I didn't miss an area or anything. It's just that the bleach literally did not take it all. Most of my hair had been like an orangey yellow, which I expected since I wasn't using a higher level bleach, but it was just that one patch in the back of my head that was dark brown as if I did not put bleach there. I was just kind of like, what in the world just happened? So I'm thinking like, should I, what? And what should I do? So about a week later, I decided to re-bleach it. Took the same bleach, same developer, and I put that I put the bleach in that area first, left it for a few left it for some time, give it a head start, and then I put the bleach on the rest of my head. So <laughs> rin rinse the bleach out my hair, shampoo my hair again and condition it or do whatever I normally do. And once again, I see this shadowy issue going on <laughs> in the back of my head. And I'm thinking, no, not, not this again. I, come on now. Cause once again, Derek wasn't here to verify. So I come in here, take another picture of the back of my head and no, I do not have these pictures. And once again, it looks worse. It looks 10 times worse. Why? Because the rest of my hair is even lighter. And now there is a still a big, big brown spot about this big in the middle of my head, except for instead of dark brown, it's crayon brown. And I'm just sitting here like, well, what am I supposed to do? Because even though the bleach didn't take, it doesn't change the fact that I just put bleach in my hair twice. And I'm sitting here trying to think of what to do next because I'm like, okay, I can try to put, to bleach that area again, which I didn't want to do. I can put dye over it to try to hide it. So after weighing the pros and cons of each <laughs> choice, I decided to go ahead and just buzz it off because obviously it just wasn't meant to happen. So I just buzzed all my hair off. And I'm thinking at this point, everything is fine. Until some time later, when I'm talking to Derek, he caught something out of the corner of his eye and he's like, he's looking and he's looking and he's like, Joy, I think you missed the spot with the Clifford's. And I'm thinking that's not possible. And I'm running my fingers over my head and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I, my, my hair was completely even with the clippers. So he comes, he, he turns on um, the light that's behind the computer and he takes a closer look and it turns out that no, I did not miss a spot with the clippers. It's just that even after completely buzzing my hair bald, the tiny little bit of hair that was left was still two different colors. So you could still see 
a buzzed brown spot in the middle of my buzzed blonde hair. So, <laughs> Derek had to help me shave my head. Like, actually put shaving cream on my head and shave my head. Because if I did not do that, I would be walking around with this funky brown... It was like a swirl. It was like someone took um, a paintbrush, a big thick paintbrush and dipped it in brown paint and then just swirled it in the middle of the back of my head. So I had to shave my head, which was an experience that I'd rather not do again because it was very strange. But I mean, it would be different if that was something I constantly did, but because I don't normally shave my head, my head was very sensitive. I didn't want anything touching it. Everything felt weird. And Derek being complete douche kept touching my head because he's like ooh so soft but you may as well I mean honestly it may as well have been like a, a tree frog climbing on my head because that's how weird it felt and obviously it grew back and obviously I bleached my hair and everything came out fine and I bleached it the same way I did the, 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 the fiasco time which was bleach it twice with 20 volume developer and I did not have that problem but I don't know what happened that time at all but at least I now know that this patch in the back of my head is more resistant than the rest of my hair <laughs> and I won't make that mistake again diet soda it's disgusting. For Diet Pepsi, could they at least use Splenda? Or is just that's just too much to ask? I, the only reason why I drink Diet Soda is because it's usually the only soda that's in the dang house. And I don't care enough about drinking soda to buy my own because I don't really drink that much soda.